Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I'm going to share a scripture with you today. The Lord's been dealing with me about giving me a scripture a day, pretty much. Um, sometimes I'll get them in dreams. There'll be specific scriptures. This one I got early this morning at 5 in my prayer time. But anyhow, it's 2 Peter 2, 10 through 15. Um, really, 5 on down is great, but anyhow. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read it. Here we go. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who worketh in, in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. So that all things without complaining and disputing, that you may become blameless and harmless, children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shall shine, as the light in the world. You know, I'm not going to really try to interpret these too much. Um, just because I kind of want to just get them out there. But I, I will a little bit. Because um, a lot of them are just kind of personal for me too. But, you know, we're His glory. He wants us to be that light in this crooked and perverse generation. Every knee is going to bow. With the name of Jesus, kind of been taken out of the equation a lot in this religious American culture. Um, I mean, just talk about God, and everybody's like, a lot of people jump on board, but talk about Jesus, and a lot of people run, honestly. So, that's like, man. Was God's ultimate plan? Just look at some of my other videos and just kind of please tune in. And just some of them are a little lengthy, but and I apologize for that. There's just a lot to share. Um, I'm not the only one preaching this message. I'm sure many of you already know it, even that are watching. Um, it's just kind of time to put Jesus first because that was God's plan for the salvation of mankind to redeem this world. So, you know, kind of who's your source? Where are you getting your information from? There's a lot of distractions, the internet being one of them. YouTube, Facebook, phones. I mean, anywhere you go, you know, people are walking down the street, middle of the street almost pretty much, or parking lots on their phone, in stores, and driving crazy. And it's like, man, guys, you know, just hang up. I mean, get a hold of God. Study the Word. It's time to just, you know, portray who we really are. Instead of all this swirly nonsense, all the technical stuff that's just, you know. <clears throat> I mean, Direct TV has thousands of channels, you know. It's like, man, guys. It's just, what is God doing? What's Jesus doing in this hour? What's the Holy Spirit doing in this hour? Where's your Word? Stand on your word. You know, it's just time to dive into the spiritual realm, guys, and just, what's he showing you? We all have a purpose. And it's awesome. So, let's just kind of, kind of sober-minded, focus on Jesus. That's kind of what I'm taking away from a lot of this, but then... In 5, it's talking about the, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And then a little bit farther on down, it talks about, And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient, even unto death, taking on the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men, made himself of no reputation, you know, Read Matthew 20. It's all about the equality piece, guys. We're all children of the King. 
if we want to be. It's choosing time, of course, absolutely. But if you're already there, great, awesome, just expand upon it. But realize you could be the, the receptionist or the senior pastor. God has a purpose for everybody. And all are equal. Kind of hard for people in the ministry to swallow that. So, I mean, you know, I mean, it's just like the Lord told me that it's time for the people in ministry to get over themselves. Honestly. And they took me to Matt, he took me to Second Chronicles 7.14, which is, I love that scripture, but if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Prayer is important, guys. Extremely important because there's a communication with him. So, just tune into what God's saying. Tune into what Jesus is saying. Tune into what the Holy Spirit is saying. Tune into your word. That, that, I'm just trying to be directional in all this, guys. That's all. Not anything great or non-great. It's the child of the King. The Most High God. So, that's it. Jesus. That's it. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, I try to do one a day, so please share this with other people if you like it. Put comments on there, like, don't like. Just thank you. God bless you. Um, if you want to email me personally, steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com. Uh, otherwise, just put comments on my Facebook, I mean on my uh, YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.